It's appropriate that this is our, our first hearing, this Congress, both because we are here to focus on the first years of a child's life and because there is no issue more important than early childhood development. I say that with a real experience, having raised three children and having seven grandchildren, all living within about 20 minutes of Washington, D.C. So, so we are the babysitters of choice here, seven grandchildren. <laughs> Last month in, this, in his address to a joint session of Congress, President Obama set a goal of ensuring that every child has access to a complete competitive education from birth forward. That is why Congress and President Obama worked together to increase funding by $2.3 billion for a Head Start, an early Head Start, and $2.1 billion for child care and development block grant in the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act and the recent 2009 Appropriations Bill. Because of those investments will preserve and create jobs and improve access and quality for the children who need those programs. That is why I was so pleased to see that President Obama's budget will commit significant new resources to early childhood. Because the federal budget should reflect our values as a nation. And that is just what the president's budget will do. You, know, you can kind of judge an individual by how that individual spends his or her money, and you can judge government uh, by how that uh, government spends its money, the taxpayers' money. And that is why I look forward to this committee working uh, with the president to help parents and other educators make the early years of children's lives nurturing and enriching. Uh, just this, about an hour and a half ago, I held Addison Kildee in my arms. She's uh, 11 months old. And gave her a little kiss and came off to work. And uh, my, my son had dropped her off for daycare today at our house. So. Because ensuring that children and their families have access to high quality, comprehensive services that help the children develop cognitively, physically, socially, and emotionally, enables them to succeed in school and in life. Children who receive quality early childhood education and development services do better in reading and math, and are more likely to graduate from high school, attend college, and hold higher paying jobs. The support and security that these services provide infants, toddlers, and young children help their brains develop in the early years and set the foundation literally for later development and learning. Those early stimulations, sound, sight, uh, touch, actually lay down we know now the physical circuitry of the brain. You know, in 1965, when Head Start was enacted, those people were very prophetic. They didn't really realize what we know now about the physical development of the brain. But they wrote a Head Start bill that really helped in that so much. And now later on, we find out the importance of that stimulation for the actual laying down the circuitry of that, of that brain. We took some important steps last Congress. We authorized the Head Start Act uh, to prioritize teaching quality in early Head Start, among other things. I was proud to introduce that bipartisan reauthorization, along with Chairman Miller and Governor Castle, and Mr. Ehlers from Michigan, and others. The committee also reported my colleague, Ms. Hirono's Pre-K Act. But as we will hear today, meeting the goal that we share with President Obama is about more than any one program, but about ensuring that wherever children are, there are high standards and the resources and accountability to ensure those standards are met. I am confident uh, that today's hearing will provide us with valuable information about the needs of young children and their families, and what we can do to help meet those needs. I, uh, as father and grandfather, uh, I know that that is the key to their success.